Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today we're going to dive into resizing, cropping and shaping images on your Squarespace 7.1 site. We've actually done a really similar post and video all about how to do this in Squarespace 7.0 and in the 7.1 Classic Editor. So check that video out. I will link it above and also in the description below if you're using either of those systems. But this particular video is about how to adjust your images in Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine. So let's dive in. Okay, so I'm in Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine just on a test site and I've added this new blank section and I'm going to show you how all of the different ways we can adjust our image blocks in Fluid Engine. So I'm going to go ahead and add an image block. And I'm going to add an image, either upload, select from library or grab a stock image. Okay, so I've uploaded my image. Now, before we start adjusting, I just want to tell you a quick tip for using Fluid Engine. If you click the G key on your keyboard, it's going to hide and show that grid. And while I'm designing, I really like to see the grid because it just helps me lay things out better. I think it's personal preference. If you turn the grid off, you can see the grid while you're moving things around. So it shows when you're moving and then when you release any items, it will disappear again. I prefer to just have mine showing because I think it makes it easier. So I'm going to leave mine on, but you can toggle yours on and off by pressing the G key. So when you've added an image, you'll initially see that it has this blue container or frame around it. And you have these little square points all around your image. So at any of these points, you can actually click and drag this container. So this is how you're going to make your image bigger. So if I click this one at the bottom and drag down, you see my image will increase. And if I click and drag to the right, it's going to adjust where that image sits. So you can play around with these handles, which are going to let you adjust where your image is. And then of course, if you click directly on the image, you can click and drag it anywhere within this grid. Just a side note, I know we're not really talking about positioning within the section today, but you can also drag it outside of the grid so that it touches the very edge of your screen, which is a very new and cool Fluid Engine feature. So if you did want your image right up against the edge, you can actually drag it out of the grid. Okay, but we're talking about cropping and resizing. So this is how you resize. Essentially, you just use these handles and you adjust however you need to. But the important thing to note about Fluid Engine is the fit and fill settings and also the block alignment settings. So either double click on your image to open up the settings or you can click on your image and click on the edit pencil icon which is going to open up the image settings and you can adjust the image here if you want to and other settings but we're more interested in the design tab right now. So you'll see here fit, fill or shape. Now let's first talk about fit and fill. So fit essentially is going to keep your image in the same ratio that you uploaded it as. So if I click on content here, you can see my original image and this is the shape of my image. There's no cropping of the image taking place. No matter what size we make this container, the image stays in the same ratio. It doesn't get cropped and it just centers itself within this container. Now on the flip side, we can choose fill which is going to fill up that entire container with our image. So these two options are really important depending on what you're trying to achieve with your design. And they can make a huge difference to how your images align within your section and within your design. So keep those two things in mind. They're very important when working with images. So now that this is set to fill, let me show you what sort of difference this makes when I adjust the container. So you can see no matter what size I make the container, that image is going to adjust accordingly to whatever size I choose. So this is really cool if you want to crop your image into a completely different shape than how it was uploaded in the first place. And it can save you a lot of time. You don't have to crop anything in a design program before you upload it. You can basically just crop it right here within Squarespace. So when we're working with this fill setting, we want to keep in mind the focal point. So back over in the content tab on your image, you're going to see this little white circle that's sitting in the middle. So it will automatically be set to the middle when you upload your image. And this is your focal point. And it's basically going to tell Squarespace where you want the image to focus. So if I click and drag this focal point up and down, you're going to see on the image here that it's going to adjust 
where the image is actually cropping and focusing. So this is very important if you are cropping your image with either the fill or the shape function as you want to be able to control where the image is focused if it is cropped. So I want to focus on this section here and it's cutting out this whole bottom section. So very important because I don't really want to focus on this bottom section. This looks a bit dumb. <laughs> I want to focus on this beautiful top section and cut the bottom out. So that's how you can use the fill combined with the focal point to completely change the aspect ratio of your image or change what your image looks like. So between that fit, fill combined with the focal point, there's a huge range of ways you can adjust the size and the crop and ratio of your image on your page. I should also note that you can add a corner radius to any fit or fill image. It will probably work better with the fill images, but let's just say change this to 100 and you can see that I now have a nice corner radius around the image. So you can actually do that with any image, which is cool. And then also it's important to note that over in fit, you can actually change the alignment. So if you wanted to keep that perfect ratio, but your image needs to be aligned either left or right within that container, all you need to do is click out of the settings and then up here you'll have these little alignment settings. So you can align it horizontally or vertically depending on which type of image you're working with and what's gonna work best for you. So if I click on align horizontally, I can change it to align to the left. And this is gonna be really helpful if I'm trying to adjust my image and you know butt it up to something on the left side, or alternatively, I can align it to the right. If you're working with more of a landscape image, you might find the vertical alignment settings more helpful too. So keep that in mind if you are using the fit and trying to keep that aspect ratio, you can change where the image aligns within its container. So the last thing we're gonna look at is shape, which is pretty self-explanatory and super fun. So if you click on shape and then click on shape again, you're gonna have a bunch of different shape options. There's three different ratios along the top, so one to one, two to three, and three to two. So you can play around with these different shapes. I think these are really fun and a really easy way to make your site look very custom without having to do anything in a design program again. So these shapes are super fun and different ratios are gonna work better depending on the size of your original image. So obviously my original image was a portrait style image. So the one to one and the two to three are gonna work best. If I use three two, you're gonna see that it crops out quite a lot of my image, which is fine depending on what you're going for. And again, we're gonna use that focal point to focus the area that we want cropped out. So you can see here that I have those mountains again. If I go back, into the content and adjust that focal point. It's gonna do the same thing as how we were using the fill function. So whatever is cropped out, you're gonna choose what you want it to focus on using that focal point. So lots of options there within the shape category. There's option here to stretch, which will actually fill up your container, which is also really great because even though these have their ratios, maybe you want to adjust the ratio slightly. So for example, this 3-2 can be adjusted by just clicking stretch and then stretching out your container. I do recommend if you are going for a square one-to-one -one and you want to keep it one-to-one, -one, just make sure you untick stretch and then you know it's gonna be perfectly square and you're not gonna have any accidental stretching or an accidental oval that was really supposed to be a circle in the first place. So play around with that. It's super fun. With all of those options, you can create so many different image layouts and image designs. I hope this helped teach you how to crop and resize and adjust all of your images on your page. And I hope you create some really great designs with these techniques. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.